1975, you teamed up with David Bowie on Fame. Yeah, I was never in the London scene in the 60s, whereas George and Paul would be going around everybody's sessions all the time, playing with everybody. I never played anywhere without the Beatles. I never jammed around with people at all. Loyalty or it just didn't interest no, you? No, just shyness, insecurity, and uh, I couldn't go in a session and play like George plays. You know, I have limited vocabulary on the guitar and the piano. So what could I do going in with Cream or, or whatever they were doing those days? So I never hung out in the clubs playing. I hung out in the discos boogieing and drinking and that, but I never did that bit. And then suddenly I was working with Elton and then Bowie was around and we were talking and that, and he'd say, come down, and I found myself doing that. So he's fiddling around. He writes them in the studio. You now he goes in about four words and a few guys and starts laying down this stuff. And he has virtually nothing. He's making it up in the studio. So I, I just contributed whatever I contributed, you know, like backwards piano and and a couple of things like repeat of fame. And then we needed a middle eight, so we took some Stevie Wonder middle eight and did it backwards, you know, and <laughs> we, we made a record out of it, right? So he got his first number one, so I felt that was like a karmic thing, you know. With me and Elton, I got my first number one, so I passed it on to Bowie and he got his. And I like that track, you know. I must say I admire him, vast repertoire of talent the guy has. I was never around when the Ziggy Stardust thing came because I'd already left England when all that was going on. So I didn't really know what he was. And meeting him doesn't give you much more of a clue, you know. That's very true. That's so, very true. Because you don't know which one you're talking to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, and, you know, we all have our little personality traits. So between him and me, I don't know what was going down. But we seem to have some kind of communication together. And uh, I think he's great, the fact that he could just walk into that and do that. I could never do that. You did a cross the universe you on that album, didn't you? Well, I could Bowie? never go yes, and do it an elephant, man. Well, you, but she's great. Mm -hmm. She tells me I can do everything. Mm -hmm. I can make a movie, you know, because you only have to learn two lines at once. I'm not talking about specifically <laughs> elephant, man. I can't I even mean... remember my own lyrics, so I couldn't go on stage and remember all that. Do you remember doing Across the Universe with Bowie? You played guitar on that? Did I on play on that too? I think you did. Oh, yeah, my God, jeez, I did, yeah. 